This tutorial covers the use of sketch text for applying text to parts. Sketch text allows you to add text to your models. Examples include boss and cut, including extrude, revolve, sweep, loft, and helix. For part designations for pallets on an assembly line, identifiers on molded and stamped parts, and many other applications. Here's an example of text being used on an actual part. This is a date plug used in an injection mold assembly for automotive brake diaphragms to mold the month and year onto each part produced. This part started out as a revolved profile. Various features were added, then the sketch text tool was selected from the 2D sketch toolbar and the face where the text was to be placed was selected. The sketch text box is very similar to a standard text box in virtually every other application. The font selection drop-down displays a list of all the fonts installed on the system. Generally speaking, any font that is installed in Windows should work when used in a Libre design. There are the usual bold, italics, and text alignment buttons. The text orientation buttons allow you to control the direction in which the text progresses, left to right or reversed, right to left. The text entry box is limited to a generous 1,000 characters, and size controls the size of the text figures in accordance with the selected size type radio button that will be explained in a moment. Line spacing controls the distance between the lines of multiple lines of text within a text figure. Size type consists of two radio buttons, font height and character extents. These are used in conjunction with the size parameter edit value to control the height of the text figures. It works like this. If font height is selected, the font definition is used as a basis for scaling characters. If character extents is selected, all the text in the text box is scanned, and the height of the tallest line of text is matched to the size value and thus determines the scale of the other lines of text. You can set the text angle with one of the angle buttons or enter an angular value in the box, and of course you always have the formula button available if needed. The Explode button, when pressed, replaces the text figure with a corresponding collection of individual lines and B-spline sketch figures. Coincident constraints are placed between the endpoints of adjacent figures. Explode is also used for a Libra cam. In this example, all the settings are pretty much default. The reverse or mirror image text orientation is used because the text will appear backwards on the molded product if not used. The size is set at 3 16 0.188. Since there is only one line of text, line spacing doesn't make any difference. The number 11 is typed into the text box. The text is centered by eye. The print surface is clicked on. The apply button is clicked. And close is clicked. Extrude cut is now used, selecting the text as the sketch. This might be a good time to mention that when you are out of sketch mode, Unexploded text characters will show as rectangles, as seen here. Double-clicking or right-click and selecting Edit on the text figures will allow you to edit the text and bring up the initial text figure dialog box. In the Extrude Cut dialog box, depth is set to 1 16th of an inch, the .063. Direction is along normal. The draft angle is set at negative 45 degrees because the text will be stamped onto the part and OK is clicked. This has been an explanation and demonstration of a Libre Design Sketch Text tool which allows you to create features with text in a part. Initially the text is a shape, but it can be exploded and edited.